Hi, it's the Burke with That Gratitude Guy with yet again another special guest with That Gratitude Guy. It's my good friend Dennis Brink. The question is always the same. Dennis, what are you yeah. grateful for? Well, I have to say that I'm learning to be grateful uh, is something new that I've discovered. And, wow. uh, uh, you know, it's easy to be thankful when someone gives you a present or to be thankful for the fact that I have a home and I have a roof over my head and all those things, the glass half full, so to speak. Right. But I've been learning as of late to be grateful in those moments when the testing comes or a difficulty comes. And uh, I say learning because I, it's not my first response always. Sure. Do you have an example lately of a test that's sort of something you had to you know, pass, if you will, around uh, gratitude or anything? Yeah, I was going down the road the other day and, uh, and I didn't realize my lane was coming to an end and I looked over to get over to the other lane and there was a guy had me blocked in and he was had a scowl on his face and I could tell he wasn't too happy he'd been watching what was gonna happen to me right and so I realized he wasn't gonna get over and let me in so I started to put on the brakes and as I did he gave me that uh, hand signal that people <laughs> give sometimes you know that what, what could that be yeah yeah with a, Number pointing one. one finger in the air you know <laughs> and I thought well that jerk you know and so I was thinking of an old saying I'd been taught as a kid to uh, to, to be kind, you know, return good back to people that do bad to you. Mm -hmm. and, and so it f quickly it flashed in my head, boy, I'd like, to, uh, I'd like to bless him all right. I'd like to bless him with five flat tires, tires right now if I had the ability to do so, you know. And uh, I was just really struggling with being kind back to him. And uh, then the th question popped into my head, how are you just like him, Dennis? And mm -hmm. I thought, wow, I didn't want to think about that. So I started to go in my mind over how I wasn't anything like him, how I would have never done that to somebody in my position. Right. And uh, then the question hit me again inside was that the question wasn't, how are you not like him? How are you just like him? So I had to stop for a moment and think, well, can, do I get short sometimes? Do I? And, and I realized that, you know, he probably didn't know it, but he'd become my teacher that day. Oh, great point. And I, and I began to be thankful for the fact that it had happened. Rather than being the victim and, and uh, taking his problem and making it mine, which I great. had I the like tendency to want to do, I, like that. I decided that, hey, this is, this is my opportunity for me to grow through this. Mm -hmm. To not take the other end of the rope, to not get pulled into other people's issues. And when I started to think of how I was like him, I wanted to minimize kind of, you know, I'm not that bad, I would never be as bad as he was. But the very fact that I got impatient at times, just like he was getting impatient, caused me to have empathy for him. Sure. And when I switched to empathy, I, I realized that it wasn't a negative what had just happened. It just had just become a positive situation to teach wow. me something. Wow. So. Great, great point. And I think what I find such value in that is here's Dennis taking an example on the road where a guy was, maybe the, the lane was ending and so on and so forth. And, but reframing it and looking at it from a standpoint of how, what could you learn from it? He was the teacher that day and so forth and, and, and thankful for that lesson and so on. And so much about gratitude is around framing our lives and what we have versus what we don't have. Being the teacher, having the positive come from it as opposed to uh, a negative or uh, returning the, the one finger salute, if you will. So, so great lesson, Dennis. That's, uh, I really appreciate that. Well, thanks. Yeah, you bet. Appreciate so yet another episode of, uh, of something that Mr. Brink said that was really, really helpful to all of us. So stay tuned as we continue to have more special guests with that gratitude guy. Take care. Thanks, Dennis. You bet.